What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a way to flavor blast your short roll. So we're going to use a seven stroke roll and we're just going to flam the first stroke. Bam, flavor blasted. If you don't know what seven stroke rolls are, they're a pattern that contains, you're not going to believe this, seven strokes. And those seven strokes consist of three groups of double strokes with a single stroke tap off. So the sticking is left, left, right, right, left, left, right, or right, right, left, left, right, right, left. For the purposes of what we're doing today, we're going to use only the left hand lead version of the seven stroke roll. Now before we go and flavor blast anything, you need to know how to play seven stroke rolls. So start on just the snare drum, I'll demonstrate them at a range of speeds, I'll start slowly, gradually increase the speed, and then bring it back down to where I started. To flavor blast this pattern, all we got to do is flam the first stroke. So my right hand will play a little grace note, and then we just have the seven stroke roll per usual. On just the snare drum, the flammed seven stroke roll sounds like this. Now these types of flammed rolls are used a lot particularly by marching drummers, so I'm not trying to say that I invented this or anything stupid like that. However, there are a lot of really nice ways to apply this pattern around the drum set and they're just mwah, so delicious. So when I orchestrate this pattern around the drums, I pretty much orchestrate only the right-handed grace note at the very beginning of the pattern, and then I keep everything else on just the snare drum. I think of this pattern more as a texture over something that has like clearly defined rhythmic value. So dynamically, I want to keep those doubles pretty quiet on the snare drum. They should almost be more felt than they are heard. My favorite way to apply this pattern is to use it as an embellishment in a groove. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna do a few different things. I'll start with just straight ahead, 4-4. Four, four. I'll keep eighth notes on the ride cymbal, and I'm going to inject this pattern into the and of beat four. So we're gonna have this nice, tight little seven stroke roll at the end there, and it just brings us right back around to the downbeat. Nice and smooth. In a more general sense, 
I usually think of this seven stroke roll type thing as a pattern that occupies, we'll call them three beats or three spaces. The subdivision doesn't necessarily matter so much. We just have essentially three strokes that we're doubling and then one stroke that behaves as a tap off, which in this context, happens to be our downbeat. So I could plug this pattern into any area that has three consecutive spaces. The way that I just demonstrated it, where the roll began on the and of beat four, I was really thinking in a 16th triplet subdivision. So each beat has six parts to it. And I started halfway through, so I was starting basically on the fourth part of the final beat. And the roll occupied the fourth, fifth, and sixth spaces of that beat. And then, kind of tapping off on the following downbeat. Next, I'll apply this pattern to a quintuplet feel. So the roll is gonna occupy the third, fourth, and fifth spaces of a beat. And it's gonna sound like this. Let's go one step further and apply this pattern to a septuplet feel. So now the roll is going to occupy spaces five, six, and seven of a beat. But just like before, it occupies three spaces. Really doesn't matter what subdivision we're in. However, using this pattern in septuplets sounds like this. We could also add two kicks, either to the beginning or the end of the pattern to turn it into an eight stroke phrase. And that makes it operate a little more easily in like a 16th or a 32nd note setting. So I'm just gonna dabble with that a little bit. I'll start by putting the two kicks at the very end of the pattern, and then I'll have the two kicks at the very beginning. That's how you flavor blast a seven stroke roll. You could of course do the same type of thing with five stroke rolls or nine stroke rolls or any other short roll pattern you so desire. It's just a matter of flamming that first stroke. So see if you could add flams into other patterns that you usually play. The more flams you have, the cooler other drummers will think you are and that's a fact. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support grants you access to transcriptions for this video, as well as transcriptions for all my other lesson videos. And follow me on Instagram, at drummerhar, to see more videos of my playing. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.